Hey friends, welcome back to the Victoria Marie YouTube channel. Hey, if you enjoy swatching your stamping inks and other products, I have something really cool for you. Today I'm participating in the Catherine Puller Swatch It Like It's Hot YouTube Hop, where myself and my fellow creators are sharing some of Catherine Puller's newest products, which is this fantastic swatching set. There's also a new release of inks, and if you haven't tried the Catherine Puller inks, my God, what are you waiting for? They are fabulous. But before we get into this, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you love all things scrapbooking and crafting hit the bell that way you'll be notified each and every time a new video is posted so I was recently sent the new swatching products from Catherine Puller there is a stamp set that features some really cool solid stamps that you can create swatches with now swatching is just simply taking a sample of an ink or some type of medium product paint that type of thing that you can have an idea or a clue as to how the color will present on a various substrate and so a part of this collection is the swatch or the color swatch stamp set which I just showed you and then what's really cool is they created stamp sets that feature the names of their stamping inks along with other types of stamps that you can use to really sort of go meta on your swatching and I'll show you that here in a second. Now one of my favorite things out of this entire swatch collection is this really cute little swatch die and you can create a little swatch book using the die. You can also use the die just to create a swatch that you can then adhere maybe to the back of your ink pad or maybe into a swatch book. So you have two options there. There's also a smaller stamp that will that you can use that die on the smaller oval die. And notice that it mimics the shape of their stamp pads. So the ink colors that I swatch are part of their new collection. There's uh, whipped honey, apricot, crushed velvet, lilac, matcha, winter green, ginger and terracotta these are just such beautiful colors and i'm so glad to add them with the rest of my Catherine puller inks i also use some premium cardstock from their collection and they have by far the best smooth cardstock so if you haven't checked out their inks you haven't checked out their cardstock make sure that you do so of course when i received my package i had to play with the little die so what i did was i went ahead and created a swatch using that color collection that you see there it was really super easy i took the solid oval stamp stamped that out and then i just punched it out or use the die rather to die cut the little ovals and I use the die that has the circle there at the top so that way you can use a little binder clip and I just use a small one from Tim Holtz to hold that together and you can create different swatches based on their color family so you know what colors coordinate together now I also wanted to test out some of the other dies this is my swatch book that I use for pretty much all my inks I love having an idea of how the colors work on the substrates that I use most which is usually white cardstock nothing is worth Worse than stamping something that you think is going to be a certain color and it comes out completely different. So swatching is the way to go so you can get an idea of what your inks are going to look like and other products that you may want to swatch. So I used the square solid stamp and I created a two by two square using the Catherine Puller smooth cardstock. This is a four by four inch binder that has this four by four inch with the two by two inch pockets, which are fantastic. And then I use the solid stamp to stamp a sampling of each of the inks. And that gives me a really good idea of how these inks will play with that cardstock. And I like to also swatch it with other substrates too. I'm going to show you an example here in a second. Then I took some of the labeling stamps and labeled the colors, which this is fantastic. I use usually will label using my label maker and this swatch book I just hand wrote it but I really like the stamps because it gives it a nice clean look and I can tell immediately what what the name of the color is so four by four inch photo book or pocket album rather that's from we are memory keepers I'm not sure if that's still around or not so if it is I'll link it down below in the description I also wanted to try out the stamps on a different style of swatching this particular swatch is used using the inks with water now Catherine Puller inks are water reactive and so I wanted to see how these colors played with water so all I did was I took some watercolor paper I made my own little swatch cards I did a little bit of a swatch of color with some water with using the stamps and then I stamped the names of the colors using the label stamps which are fantastic that correspond with the name of the ink color so I like to see not only how the colors play on just regular cardstock I also like to see how my inks and things play on different types of substrates and that's a tip I learned from Tim Holtz years ago um, so that I'm not guessing okay so again here is that cute little swatch and the die set I absolutely love it you can create multiple swatches for all their different color lines and of course depending on how you like to swatch this particular stamp set is 
totally versatile. So if you want to create your own little cards, maybe a little tag or something, you can use the solid blocks to do a sample or a swatch of a color. You can do different color combinations using the different solid stamps and you can get really meta as well. So the last stamp set that I showed you had a stamp that says monochromatic analog. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, not analog, analogous rather, complementary triad. You can really dig in deep and organize your colors based on color theory. So there we go. The swatch products new to Catherine Polar. Lots of fantastic items here that you can use time and time again to organize your Catherine Polar inks. You can also use those solid stamps to organize other inks. I love the little metal die. I think it's perfect in the way that it's shaped to the size of their um, ink pads. It's so adorable. I can definitely incorporate this into my own swatching uh, scheme, and which I think is great because that makes it super, super versatile. I highly recommend that you swatch your inks and use tools that make it easy for you to do so. To learn more about these products and to purchase them, make sure you click on the links down below. Thanks so much for joining us on this YouTube hop and I'll see you guys in the next video.